Why? Because... Uganda's untapped economic potential in the harbor sector will shock many, an area previously seen as a preserve of traditional herbalists and healers. Scientists think otherwise. Because we have the capacity to achieve that, looking at all the bioflora we have and the, all the uh, conducive environment for growing most of these medicinal plants. China focused on this, and that's why today we find that most of our imports in the pharmaceutical sector, food supplements, cosmetics, functional products, they are all imported from India and China. Most of them, the biggest percentage. But we can substitute this by supporting scientists and researchers continuously so that in the next seven years, when this uh, the growth in a demand in the natural product sector is hitting. Uganda has something to give out. You know, cash flow is about what do you have to sell. Definitely that would mean that Uganda would have uh, like an annual sales of about 35 billion US dollars coming into our economy. And remember, if we don't invest in that research, still, the plants will grow, they will drop on the ground, they will rot and be simply organic manure. But beyond just support to the country's natural scientific innovations, Edward advises that government should deliberately channel energies and investments to rare and specific areas of production. When we started producing Kazira Rivera, I never only considered looking at the imodin in it, I pushed the science further to also study the, the components in, in green tea, like epigarocatechin, which I extract from the green tea. So, but since we started that, I want to tell you that aloe vera is no longer a, a herb and bush which is sour and neglected. It is today a commercial plant. Edward Kazere, famed for his advancements in management of cough and flu using natural plants, is also advising farmers to wake up and smell the coffee. Remember, Uganda is one of the few countries with the greatest diversity when we come to, to, to plants of medicinal values. So if the government would focus on research and development of natural products, which are of pharmaceutical value, which are of functional value, which are of uh, dietary supplements, and also which are food supplements and cosmetic products of herbal origins. Uganda and Uganda just focuses on taking only 1% of the world market, which is very possible. He concludes, together with a team of scientists, have urged the Science, Technology and Innovation Ministry to put in place a centralized fund for the establishment of advanced research equipment in higher institutions of learning.